Here is a variation of Brent's Premier that has got the attention of a lot of trout over the years. These flies can be tied in size 8, 10, and 12s, and in several colors. Here is a caddis green in size 10. The fly is tied on a Daichi 1560 nymph hook size 8. Thread is 6 aught tan. The body is brown olive ice dub. The hackle is a ginger saddle feather. The shell back is bleached elk hair or deer hair. Well, good day, everyone, and uh, welcome to another segment on the bench. I'm going to tie you up one of my little premiers. It's a fly that used many years ago and had a lot of success with it over the years. Tied it with bright green chenille originally. I'm going to tie this one up with, uh, I'm doing smaller ones, and I'll still stay with a size 8 here just to show you. I'm going to tie two today. Actually, I'll do a, a brown and I'll do a, a caddis green, okay, and size... This is size 8, and uh, I'll do a 10. But this is uh, just olive brown ice dub. You can change all the colors. I, I fish this in so many different colors. I find it's a great uh, searching fly. Uh, use this in leaks. We've we've done really, really well with this fly. I want to bring it to you. I don't know if I showed it to you before or not, but here it is again. I'll come in with a little bit of this... Uh, Elk hair, bleached elk. You can use deer, whatever you like. Get that in the stacker. You may want to tie this in a different sequence if you're not using a Norvice. That's the way I do it. Stacker it comes out nice black tips. This gives it the flotation. This is a neutral buoyant fly. Uh, now, when I'm measuring the body, I want the tail to come out. Not quite gap length, so we want to come from the front to the back. Got to measure it. See, that would give me a tail quite long. I want to shorten that up a little bit. So I'm just giving you an idea how you measure. So that would be more of the tail I want by the time I fold it back. I'll get a soft turn or two, get a little more pressure on it. Now I'll just cut this off at a pretty good angle right there. Bring in a nice little hackle. To suit the size of your fly. Brown's a good color. This is a ginger. Make sure I got those butts cut off pretty close. And then I'll just run my um, thread and my hackle to the back in one, one pass. I just keep my hackle and my thread a oh, little piece. Little, and I just keep them together, and then the way they go, get a few turns, come to the rear, take that hackle off, pull it back over itself. I like to give it just a little bit of a clip right here because I don't want it too much hackle on the top, clearing out. Got a nice short tail. I'll come in with my extended reach hook finish if you have one. If not, you can use it with the other. Then I will uh, want to reinforce it because that hair will get chewed up. These, these This fly does catch a lot of fish. So here's some head cement here that I'll just use. It's got a brush right in it. Really easy. And I can coat that. Give it a little more durability. And you can also use some clear flex, clear flex uh, cement too. That works good. I used to use that for years. But it's a real bright little guy. And uh, one thing with these fullback flies, I just want to tell you is make sure you lay your scissor along the side and trim these legs down so they're not sticking out the side. Because when the hackle uh, gets wrapped on there, of course, it spirals, right? So that's going to be a really important thing to make sure this these are trimmed straight down so they're like legs then your fly will travel straight if not it'll it'll turn on you or want to turn on you a little bit and the, and the fish know it's fake you you tie one like that throw it on there when the fishing's really good and they'll just they'll go plumb dead on you this fly here will because of the the hook it'll ride just naturally like that i fish this lots on a type three line and uh, 
or slower intermediate sometimes. Depends where the fish are holding, but it's a, it's a neutral buoyant fly. I can leave in the zone a long time. Really, really nice bug. That's Brent has brought us another one of his top producers. Make sure to tie up a few to take to your favorite lakes. I'm sure you will be wanting to get some more in your fly box soon. We appreciate you watching today's video. Go to our online store to check out our selection of flies and products exclusive to sport fishing on the fly viewers. We would like to have you as a member for lots of great perks.